goes on guys we're back here again with yet another review and today we're going to be taking a look at something that i didn't think i was going to pick up but i got roped in because it's NECA. we're going to be taking a look at the brand new teenage mutant ninja turtles 2 the secret of the ooze versions of NECA's teenage mutant ninja turtles 2 packs exclusive to walmart of michelangelo and donatello and leonardo and Raphael. now i think secret of the ooze is a pretty decent movie i don't think it's like great by any means and it doesn't touch the first one but i think it gets a little bit more hate than it deserves but one thing that i really did like was the expressive faces of the jim henson puppets because anything about jim henson i'm all over now if you have the first versions of these these are not going to be very different i think the only real difference is the paint apps and the head sculpts and i'm a sucker for turtles i'm a sucker for NECA, so <laughs> i went ahead and bought them um you know what are you gonna do it just be like that sometimes um i i saw them both there and i was like I know if I don't get them now, I'm really going to regret it, so I might as well. And I think it, I had a $50 gift card to Walmart for some reason, I think because I think I found a bag of shorts outside the Walmart, and I literally was like, hey, can I get store credit for these? And they were like, sure. So I don't know, maybe that's wrong on my part, but I said, fuck it. So I had $50 worth. So I basically got one of these for free, which is pretty cool. Um, but the packaging, I'm only going to show one. Let's show the best turtle here. Um, they, they look exactly the same, just changed figures and names. So you get the poster art right there. And then on the side here, you get the promo images of the turtles. We're going to make it look sloppy right now. There you go. And on the side, you get the other promo image. On the top, you get Secret of the Ooze. And then this one has Donnie and Mikey, whereas this one has... Raph and Leo and then on the back you get some stills from the movie or like you know the figures being stills from the movie which I really do like you get them all down there collect them all of course NECA you you tell me I'll sell you my soul there's the barcode for that if you're looking for that like I said I found these at Walmart so just keep that in mind and then as far as these ones goes there's the barcode for this one and then on the other side so it's kind of cool that if you wanted to keep the boxes for these they could look pretty cool like putting them like that or maybe even like that that's actually probably what they're going for, which is pretty cool. So without further ado, enough rambling, let's go ahead and open up these two packs because I am very excited for them, believe it or not. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. So getting the brothers out of the packaging, I mean, it's a lot of what I expected, but I also really like what they got going on. First of all, the colors are much brighter on these, and I think that the paint apps are a lot cleaner on the pla plastered um and the carapace of the shells i really really like the way that that um looks or plastron i'm sorry not plastered uh kind of a herp guy so i really do like that kind of stuff so the plastrons really do look nice um no other toy channel is going to tell you what the anatomy of a turtle and or tortoise is okay and just a little fun fact for you all tortoises are turtles but not all turtles are tortoises keep that in mind all right so when everybody's asking the differences if you want to know the differences let me know but they love being turtles. They're turtles. It's what they are. Um, I would say they classify more as tortoises, but eh, what are you, what are you gonna do? So, but like I said, in all seriousness, there's not really much new going on, so to speak, but that doesn't bother me. I knew that going in there. I really did just buy these for the brighter colors and the new head sculpt. So we're going to talk about that the most. I'm just going to use Michelangelo as the example. While Donnie is definitely the best turtle, um, I think Mikey's head sculpt is really the best and he has the best in terms of articulation just because his work's the best. They all have the same scheme, but you get what i'm saying let's take a look at this head sculpt that is an incredible head sculpt for the movie that stupid dopey look that i love so much the paint is beautiful on there the bright colors with the nice wash over it. the dry brush on the bandana looks great the eyes are much more cleanly painted than the last time at least in my opinion the mouth looks really good and then the rest of the body is painted very nice. The shell is painted very nice, the carapace of it, and then, like I said, the plastron is too. And then also on the holsters for his nunchucks, they are painted very, very nice, and I really like the gradient from front to back on there. And then the legs look really nice as well. I do like what they got going on in there. Um, I love the paint in there. The, that You get the darker ones in the muscle tone. I like the speckling and the lighter tones on there as well. Them calves, bro. Whew. That's what I'm trying to get my calves to look like. Damn. But um, they don't have the movable bandanas on these ones, I don't think. Maybe they do. 
Uh, okay, maybe they do. But this movie had longer bandanas, so that might not work, really. So, eh, I don't really need them to move. I'm not putting these in super dynamic poses. They were just standing there looking goofy. So, Mikey's new head sculpt is pretty damn amazing. Um, and we'll take a look at his pack mate, Donatello. I really like his smug look. It looks great, Donnie. You're killing it, Don. And then he's got a different strap because he has the fabric on the back, which I'm not a huge fan of, honestly, but and whatever. And then, as you can see, the rest of the body is pretty much the same, just different padding on him, which does look really, really nice as well. Um, but his head sculpt is also very, very good. Then we go to my least favorite turtle, Raphael, but I do like the head sculpt. I like he looks angry, looks really, really nice. And then you get like the this, like on all of them you do, but I really like how you can see the... Um, like where the, the shell on the costume would meet the body. They didn't really know what to do with it. And I like that. Um, but the head sculpt looks really nice. You can see some teeth in there. That looks good. His bandana looks nice. The speckling on there. It's just really good. And then the rest of the body is also very well done. Like I said, not much new going on here in terms of sculpting. But the paint looks nice on the body for Leo as well. And then he gets his nice holsters or sheaths for his katana and then his head sculpts also really good too i think him and mikey both have really good head sculpts that looks really really good i like his like smug happy look i like it i like it i like it that's what you're just gonna hear that a lot in this review so oh stop cheating mikey but i do like what they got going on in terms of new head sculpts so much so that i went ahead and bought them but like i said i did have 50 dollars gift cards so I'm all right with that, but they do have a ton of accessories for each of them, so I did my best to keep them organized. Let's go ahead and take a look at those real quick. So this is the spread of accessories you get between all of them. So as far as hands go, with Raph and Leah, you're going to get flat hands, and just for instance, or for reference, you can use pretty much all the hands on all the bodies. So Leo and Raph come with those ones, and then they also come with pointy fingies, which is cool. Obviously, Raph is going to come with his sigh, which they are both painted and sculpted. Very nice. I like that. Leo is going to come with his katana, of course. They look very nice as well. You're going to get a green TCRI canister of ooze. So it's probably reminiscent that it's a filled canister, which, oops, secret of the ooze. Of course, it's got to come with some ooze. And then you get two half slices of pizza. I like that a lot. Like the sauce line in the middle is awesome to me. Just the attention to detail. They're a little squishy, which is cool. And then you get olives and peppers and sausage. And this one's a pepperoni one. So I like the cheesiness of this one. That's awesome. And then as far as Mikey and Donnie, you're going to get two more half-eaten slices of pizza, which I like. You're going to get an empty canister of TCRI ooze which is cool because it is just clear plastic i like that you're gonna get an olives peppers and sausage slice which is nice donnie of course comes with the iconic bow staff mikey comes with two pairs of nunchucks one that is just molded plastics no paint on there and then the other one actually has a string with some paint on there so i'm definitely going to use these two well it's not string but it's like thinner plastics i like that a lot they come with kind of pointy, relaxed hands and thumbs up hands, which definitely got to go to Mikey. So I like that a lot. And then my favorite accessory is the foam bat that Mikey just bop, bop. I like that a lot. That is really cool. It looks fuzzy, looks muppety, I guess. I like that a lot. That's really cool. And then you get this extra right forearm or left forearm, I believe. I... I don't know. This came with Mikey and Donnie. Is this like just a random thing that got thrown in my package? Because they all have their arms. And they all have the right arms I checked. So, or like the correct arms. So, I don't know. Does all of them come with this? And if so, what's the purpose of this? Because I think I just have a fluke. As far as articulation goes. Whoa, I just knocked the shit out of the camera. As far as articulation goes, like I said, I'm going to use Mikey. The heads aren't going to go up crazy amount because of the little part that connects the shell. But they will pivot and rotate really, really nice. It's a little tight. Just be careful with these. They feel like older NECA figures. They might break, so please be careful. Heat up if you need to. Don't play with, don't like force it if it's not going. Shoulder goes out that much down. Rotate 360. Double jointed elbows that will go in pretty far, and they don't look bad with the padding. I like that a lot. It's more than 90. And then the wrists swivel and hinge. Wish they did vertical hinges. Um, 
but unfortunately they just didn't. You do get a diaphragm joint up here, which I do like. It's not totally needed, but it will get some pivot, a little bit of rotation and crunch. So good enough for me. The legs are super stiff on all of them, but like I said, they worked best on Mikey. They will be able to do splits. Just please be careful. They'll go down. They'll kick forward and out a little bit. Again, be careful with that. Thigh rotation, double jointed knees that go in really far. Well, for the most part, that's fine by me. And then the ankle goes down and up really nice and a pivot. So definitely enough articulation for these kinds of turtles. Um, I don't really need super articulated turtles. I know it's kind of weird because they should be super articulated, but this is enough for me, especially when the aesthetic on them is this good. I'm willing to sacrifice that. As far as scaling goes, we're going to get out the Zack Toys team. Here they are next to the Dark Knight Returns. McFarlane Toys Batman with Donnie along with Darwin and Donnie. Darwin Donnie from Marvel Legends. Then we have the Fortnite Jazzwares series Peely and the Marvel Legends Zombie Captain America, which they look good together with. And then finally, we have them next to NECA's Silly Kong, or as I like to call them, Silly Kong. So they are good scale. Um, I don't really have any good turtles here to compare the two. I only have the Super 7 ones, but that doesn't really matter. So I think that they work good in what they're supposed to be. So some of you out there are probably wondering, yo, Ant, what are you thinking of these figs? And I gotta say, they are just exactly what I expected. There's nothing crazy about them. Shut the fuck up, chair. There's nothing crazy about them. I've had these figures before, and but I knew that going into them. But I really think that the new head sculpts justify the purchase. They are really, really well done. The paint on them is brighter, more vibrant. I like that. And it's just another version of the turtles for the shelf. And if you guys know, that's all I really do when it comes to turtles. I don't really do the other characters, the side characters. I don't even have an April New York or Casey Jones in my collection. I don't feel the need for them. I really don't because I don't want to fall down that rabbit hole. But I will get as many versions of the turtles as possible. The only version of the turtles that are out that I really want. Um, I would love the 2007 movie turtles from Playmates. They're kind of expensive though. I wouldn't mind getting the 2003 series turtles. But mm, I don't think any figures have done them justice very well. But the ones that I want the most are the rock and roll turtles. I never found them in store. And then I heard that that costume store had them for a little bit, but they sold out by the time I got there, so it's very upsetting. But if anybody has a good that one for a good price, retail or less, if it's open, I don't care. Please let me know. Please let me know. But anyway, that's all I got for today. So if you um, want to know what I'm thinking on this rating, I'm going to go ahead and give these two packs at a price point. I think they were like 53 something each. 60 bucks maybe actually i don't really know i don't even care anymore i just kind of buy i think they were actually like closer to 60 dollars a piece so at that price point i'm still going to give these guys a 9 out of 10 i think they should have changed the vertical hinges on the hands and i also think that each turtle should have come with fists you know i like getting a good fist whoa whoa whoa, whoa. pause 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 but hey anyway i believe that's all i got for today so if you have not already please be sure to like comment subscribe do yourself that favor and me also be sure to follow me on instagram and tiktok i have a lot of fun over there we all do uh, so what are you doing if you're not on there i'm sure you will too but anyway that's all i got so as always let me know you copping let me know i'll see you guys in the next one peace dude